Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Right now, lot of collectives, let's age. Okay. Or am I wonderful collective? Let's do another reading for you. Once again, whatever messages will come through, I'll just deliver it to you. Whatever is important for my wonderful collectives uh, to hear at this specific moment. And of course, to know. Okay. Messages from my collectives. What messages do I have for my wonderful collectives? I have healing, healing and releasing. You could release some sort of situation. I have happiness. I feel like you feel better. You feel better. Uh, you feel happy. You know, you release. You healed. You healed. Now, what did you heal from? What did you heal? You let go of something. You feel free. I have proposal, commitments, I have text messages, I have mask, fake, fake people, fake people. I feel like you released, you released some sort of person, person potentially that uh, promised you a lot of things, fake person. Maybe it's a person that uh, promised you a lot of things in the past but haven't delivered it. Uh, this is, could also be a relationship, relationship where you thought, uh, you know, things going to go somewhere further, but it did not. Okay. I see text messages. I feel like you healed. You healed from some sort of situation here. I have insecurities here, low self-esteem. This is, could be a relationship in the past that have put you in this position where your self-esteem was shattered, uh, but not anymore. You healed, you let go of this situation, okay? So now you're currently happy. You're happy, you're moving forward. Uh, it's The past, like I said, is no longer of important, significant for you. Okay? What else for you? In the bottom of the deck, I have seven of swords. Deception, manipulation, and lies. Somebody else's games. Somebody else's games here. There is a female coming up. Queen of Swords. Some sort of individual, some female. Uh, due to her involvement, there is some masculine here. Broke your heart. Walked away. Walked away. Walked away to... Walked away why? Because of the manipulation of this other woman. And that's exactly why I've seen proposal on the bottom of the deck earlier when I did this reading. I also seen let go. I also seen healing. So this is, could be that person. They shown me a fire sign masculine. They shown me a manipulation of some sort of queen of swords. She could be an air sign. She doesn't have to be. I also have here queen of pentacles, meaning the masculine potentially went to the this other woman. Okay. The high priestess. Or this is also could be you. Could be you. Right. Could be you that that individual is secretly still thinking about you. For this person, for this masculine uh, from your past, you still like a very distance. By high priestess, he never knew who you were. He never understood till this day who you are. But by the star, you something that is very bright, shine. Um, you're yet so distant, so distant, right? Even though I see that you invested into this relationship. You hoped that this past relationship will bring you happiness and joy. You trusted. Maybe this person did propose you something, but there was somebody else, lovers. Duality, the person walked away. Walked away, gave offer to somebody else. And most likely this other female here, Queen of Swords. And of course she utilized, without doubt, by Seven of Swords, uh, manipulative techniques, lies, all kinds of sync to kind of move you out of the way. Move you out of the way. And generally, uh, the fire sign masculine is uh, 
not cool-headed. Okay, they're opposite. So this masculine and this female that lied and manipulated was intention wanted to break your heart so you don't, you know, be with this person. They're opposite. Very opposite personalities. We have air and fire. So very opposite personalities between you and that person. <clears throat> and that's exactly what I see. Text messages and proposal commitment. Maybe this person, maybe this person, like I said, offered you something like a marriage proposal or uh, acted as if that person was loyal to you. But no, I see text messages and I see masks. It's fake, fake. Okay. And it was all done because of the manipulation of this female. But I feel that you, you released it, you healed you know, you're happy. Looking back at all the scenario, you're happy. Okay. You develop this personal intimate relationship with yourself. You had enough time to heal, to reflect, to value yourself. But this was the other woman here. The other woman that interfered. Even though, like I said, the masculine still thinking about you. You come up as a highly resourceful queen of pentacles. Stable, loving, nurturing, successful. And by high priestess, uh, unique. Unique. So this whole situation, I'm assuming, made you who you are today. You learned a lot how to rely on your intuition. How to listen not only to your mind, your logical mind, but also follow your heart. And you made the right choice because you're looking at the star, meaning you're looking at this wish fulfillment that is coming in towards you. Of course, I will take a look what it is uh, exactly, but you are already happy. Now, in regards of this masculine here that walked away, broke your heart, disrespected you, lied, I want you to know that this person was influenced by the manipulation of the other woman. I do have here Queen of Swords. This person maybe potentially did not want it to walk away. Maybe this person was forced to walk away. There was a lot of manipulation done by this other woman. A woman that lied, uh, slandered your name, interfered um, by the source, was very angry, revengeful towards you. And of course, the masculine walked away. The masculine did walk away. Maybe if, like I said, well, there is no maybe. It's already happened. There is no maybe. What else can you tell me about this jealous queen of swords, the liar? I have tragedy, forbidden law, okay? Tragedy. What else? I have single, current status available. I have revenge and legal. So something she utilized here legally, legally filed some sort of paperwork Filed corrupt paperwork. It was her revenge. She didn't want to be single. Right? I feel like you got in the picture uh, with this person. You know? You got in the picture. Maybe things were going um, towards long-term relationship. Maybe. And uh, this person, for her, it was strategy. Because she either ended up being single or not in a relationship with this masculine. Showing me a family here family, blood ties, or inner circle. Maybe they have kids together or had a kids together, or, you know, it was revenge on you. So she's very aggressive, very angry. She wanted to punish you. She wanted to seek revenge, and she most likely did so by providing false corrupt information to the law because i have legal paperwork filed something she filed something she filed maybe forged your name it's it's a stalker okay stalker i have searching online maybe this individual female was looking for information uh, any sort of incriminating information that she could use but um, was indication seven of swords and queen of swords coming up straight up that this person lied. It was nothing but revenge. Okay. And, and this masculine did believe her, believed the lies from the past. I'm describing you your past right now, which you already healed from. 
Uh, and he walked away. He walked away. He walked away because he believed the lies that were brought to you. And I have come back together, reconciliation. So maybe he reconciled with this woman. This is, could have been another woman that wanted to be with this person, okay? Because I do see reconciliation. Uh, what is what is the relationship between uh, this Queen of Swords, this lying, revengeful female, and this King of Wands? The current relationship. I have King of Cups. I have Ten of Swords. I have Death. There is an ending here. Okay, ending ending to their relationship. They could be still in relationship, but overall I see two of cups as the end of relationship and eight of cups walking away. If they're still together, once again, um, because according to this female, this masculine come up as a king of cups, meaning someone that she has some feelings towards. Uh, but overall I see that their relationship will end. Okay, there is a death card, two of cups, eight of cups, there is an ending. And ending. It's either already ended, whatever that was, or about to end. Because I see, once again, with Eight of Cups, the masculine most likely will walk away. If he didn't already. Okay? So, this is a perfect example of what goes around, comes around, right? Exactly what she did to you, she's going to end it up with, with broken, broken everything. Broken home. Yeah, there's a walking away here. What did this female wanted? What did this female wanted initially? Why so much, so much hatred towards you and revenge? All because you were in relationship with this fire sign. Like, what? What is the reason? What is her problem? Oh, okay, engagement, engagement ring. <laughs> Engagement ring. She wanted to to be with this person, okay? She wanted to be with this person. Right? Clarified engagement ring. Clarified engagement ring. Family. She wanted to have family with him. That's what she wanted. Family I also have breakup ended. This is, could be, like I said, either either an ex-wife that, um, you know, relationship ended, partnership ended, marriage ended, family ended, right? Or she wanted to prevent you having the family and getting engaged and being with this masculine. Okay, so this is one or the other, an ex or a current partner. It's kind of hard to pick this up because I sense energy of two females that uh, did this to you, like a separate, like an ax and a current. So I will take a look exactly whether this Queen of Swords is current. Is this Queen of Swords currently with this fire sign? Yes or no? Are they currently together? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so they're they're together. They're together. She wanted to break you apart. <clears throat> and it's kind of like a revenge against you. Is this Queen of Swords and King of Wands? Uh, is this is his ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or ex-partner that did this? No. So is this Queen of Swords and King of Wands, are they still together as a family? Are they still together? Yes. Yes, they are together. Is this King of Wands was loyal to you throughout your relationship? 
No, he was not. Is this Kinko once was uh, sleeping and seeing this Queen of Swords while he was with you? Yes. So this sounds like a case of a jealous sociopathic other woman. Other woman that wanted to break you up so you don't get engaged. That would have been strategy for her, okay? She had to act quick. Uh, she wanted to break you apart. She wanted to be with this masculine. I kind of feel that she has this obsession with this masculine, like the sick to the point of sickness, like a obsessed, obsessed female. So she needed to act quickly because you were, he might have promised her an engagement and promised her marriage and said, I'll marry you, we'll have family. And he could have said the same thing to you, right? So she needed it, she needed, that would have been strategy. She wouldn't see her herself single. She didn't want to be single. You understand? It was the sick paranoia, almost like a strategy that she would ever lose this masculine. You understand? But I see here eight of cups and two of cups breaking up, um, ending of relationship, okay? Um, so this is, will not last anyways. She will get exactly uh, the same thing what she did against you. Same thing. Okay, if she interfered, somebody else will also interfere. And masculine will walk away. Also because of somebody else. So this is the same thing, okay? Right now, the relationship, I feel like, between them is complicated. Right? There's a lots of turns and twists. You know? Naughty situations. It's a complicated, complicated relationship. Complicated relationship. Whatever that is. But she want, she did everything. Like I said, she involved some sort of government organization to target you, to go after you. This is, could have been complaints against you made. All, all to, like I said, seek to punish you. To punish you, okay? Very angry, very jealous manipulative, lying, cunning. What else can you tell me about this Queen of Swords? Tangled, unable to free herself from a sticky situation. Taking a step back helps. She's pretty much in, in crap, in shit. That's exactly where she is. You know, she put herself there. It's a very tangled situation, so she's not going to get out of it. She's not going to get out, get out of it, especially if this sociopath utilized legal system, because I have cops here. Some She's in a pretty fucked up situation with police right now. Like there's uh, here, cops are involved, police involved. So it's pretty serious, okay? And she got herself into it, because you don't just go around and make false reports. Because you're jealous or because some masculine chose to uh, propose and be with somebody else, right? You don't do that. What right do you have to seek revenge, even if you had a family, even if you had a family and you wanted to break somebody up because you're jealous, not case. So I feel like she's in a really sticky situation right now. She's pretty tangled herself up like... It's a lies upon lies upon lies and police catching it up to it. And they're like, okay, wait a minute. It doesn't make sense. So she she's going to have problem with the law for, because she utilizes police officers as a tool to seek revenge against you. And I mean, you don't have to be an expert. Put yourself on the cop's shoes. You lie to the law. Okay, you utilize the law as a tool to seek revenge against a person whom this fire sign was with because you're jealous and because you felt like you need to break this union up, right? So there is a cops here involved. There is a police involved and by Tangled, she's stuck. Like she's stuck. Why is she Tangled? Tell me more about this police officers. Like she's going to get what she deserves. 
soulmate, friendship, romantic partner, intrigue, love affair. Mm. Oh, she might have had her love affair with some cop. That's coming out to light. That nobody knew. Okay. There's definitely some sort of here secret love affair. One card just fell out. I'm just going to pull it out. Love affair. Denial. Not facing the truth. Investigation. Nightlife. Yeah, she could have had some love affair with somebody here. Because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why would police act upon uh, falsified, perched complaints and didn't do the better job? So there's definitely she hooked up with, with some cop or a person in uniform. There was a love affair, okay? Love affair. And there's also a bounty hunters here right, right after that. And of course, nightlife, alcohol, drinking, so she's definitely, like I said, most likely hooked up with somebody here. And it's all coming to light. See, I have interview. Interview. So it all will come to light. It's already come to light. Maybe that cop is already being interviewed or whoever he is. A cop, a soldier, maybe in military or policing, whatever the case may be. But there's definitely here a love affair. And I have gossip too, right? Gossip. Jealousy is out of jealousy. So it's clear that she was jealous. She was jealous because she did not want you to have family. She did not want you to be engaged to this person. She did not want you to have a family. She wanted to break you up. Break you up. And if we have sociopathic female like this one, who is obsessed, obsessed and jealous. So there's a lot of gossip here that was done against you here. You could have been accused maybe of having some love affair that you're a drunk alcoholic, but yet she's the one that had a love affair, okay? And yeah, see, gossip entrap you, entrap you. She entrapped you through gossip and jealousy and envy. So this is all coming out. Whoever this cop is, um, he's also going to be brought forth. Whoever she slept with to get what she wanted and she was specifically targeted so like i said she had this obsession with this fire sign masculine okay obsessed because either he broke her heart so she wanted to get back to you she wanted you out of the way she was heartbroken yada 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 so of course this sociopath is capable of not only stalking you which she still does but she most likely hunt down some cops and accidentally followed them somewhere and had an affair. Okay, got the cop drunk. She got drunk, hooked up with somebody. Anything could have happened. Point is that this is coming out here. This is coming out. I have bounty hunters and in interviews. So she is being investigated. Her and whoever that cop is. They're all going down because the truth is coming out. She had an affair with somebody in the uniform. That's how she got what the, what she did. She got helped. Okay? Softly said. We know how. We know how that happens, right? I mean, a little bit of vodka, a little bit of this and that. And uh, voila. Okay, so she planned it. She planned it. It's a female that is completely out of control, was obsessed. And of course, a lot of gossip have been done against you. Gossip out of jealousy. You were entrapped. She entrapped you. She entrapped you. All because it was this delusional obsession of breaking your life up. So, Tangle, Tangle Affair. What else can you tell me about this affair? So, the fact that she's jealous and gossiping out of jealousy, it's clear that she just obsessed with your life. Tell me more about the, what is this love affair? And go, I have marriage, I have crossroads, I have music, I have sex, good times, 
I have single, not in relationship. I have connecting. I have hookup. I have heartbroken, shattered. Yeah. It's a it's a miserable, miserable individual that played games because she felt like she she was heartbroken. Okay? Or it was revenge because a masculine favored you and wanted to be with you. And in fact, I'll repeat once again, he's still thinking about you. See? He's still thinking about you. You are the star. High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles, the star. You are a secret star to this person. You always going to have a special place in his heart always always so all of her attempts to slander your name forcing the masculine to stop thinking about you is sick and that's exactly what this sick person continuously doing is trying to slander you disrespect you gossip about you about your life why why ask yourself Clearly because of jealousy. Why else? She still till this day is like a punishing you because this person thinking about you and you are still on their mind. So it's not working, right? How we say you cannot force love. And plus on top of that, that love affair was this tangled cop or military officers. It's all going to come to light as well. Everything is a time of truth, how I say. Now, let's take a look here. How exactly this masculine feels about you, okay? Because I do see you still um, on their mind. They're still thinking about you. Let's take a look here. What did this person thinking about you? Uh, was this female, it's ending, okay? Ending, betrayal, backstab, she will... She will be betrayed, okay? There's no no prospectus in her personal life, okay? Like she wanted to be loved by this man. There's no love, okay? She will be, she's, she gets what she deserves because, you know, that, that uh, delusion and sociopathic feeling of seeking revenge and forcing love, it's honestly become really sick, really, really sick. Just before I finish up this reading, I just want to see what would be the final outcome for this female, besides the fact that she's she will never find the love, anyone that would love her after what she did against you. That's why she had to strategize to be loved, right? Because a person that is beautiful inside and out doesn't have to force anything, doesn't have to manipulate, doesn't have to gossip and slander, right? This person... Always, always treat everybody fairly. They don't have to compete. This sociopath, like I said, um, you know how we call it, a woman in pants. She adjusted to take whatever she wanted by force. Force herself on somebody. Manipulates man. Manipulates situations. Because she has nothing to offer. That's why. Until this day, she's trying to ruin your reputation, disrespect you. Because the masculine is still thinking about you. She's not stupid. I'm sure she knows. So this is continuously on, goes on, goes on to slander your name. You're the hot topic. Okay? What would be the judgment for this queen of swords? Liar. Jealous, not case. Two of swords. So right now she doesn't know. She doesn't know. See, two of cups. Duality and ending. It's an ending to her relationship. If, like I said, the masculine walked away and broke your heart because he did walk away to her, there's an ending to her love life. There's an end. Right? It's ending. It's ending. This love affair will come to light. Gossip will come to light. Everything she did uh, to, like I said, be chosen to ruin your life, to ruin your relationship. She she will, right now she's in the position she's not sure anymore. But after that, as you can clearly see, two of cups, it's about this partnership, 
and there is a death which means ending it will be an ending to her relationship an ending to her relationship because like i see masculine would also walk away see masculine will decide to take another leap of faith with somebody else he will choose new okay he will choose happiness his own happiness because controlling she's very controlling she's argumentative there's constant arguments manipulations it's not gonna work for her so she can forget about her stability her family love life uh, not after what she did to you and i'm sure you're not the only one that she done it to okay because masculine will walk away So it's a short lift. So much damage done. For what? Because you're obsessed. <laughs> okay, so this is in regards of this lying female. Now let's take a look about this masculine here. The, the, the character. The character that at one point believed, believed the manipulation and lies of the sociopathic female. I also see that he, this person is still thinking about you. you. You're always going to be a special person in their heart. Um, I cannot promise you that, you know, you'll be back together with this person. I see that you're happy. You released the situation. You healed, which is, I'm so proud of you. And it shows. It shows. You've grown tremendously. Right now, your main objective is follow your dreams and do whatever makes you happy. And this is a healthy mindset. Healthy, right? You no longer allow, you know, the past to place any restrictions. You understood that this person is not for you, this masculine not for you. You're happier without them. But this person is still thinking about you. So what is this masculine thinking about you right now? That they may not admit because they're secretly thinking about you, see? This queen of source coming up. How dare you to think about her? How dare you? Don't you dare. Like I said, it's a it's a paranoid mindset of this female. So what is this masculine thinking about my collectives? In secret. That you're a very strong person. This individual often sees you as very powerful and very strong, very strong, independent. Have a, you have a solid foundation in your life. You're strong by yourself, whether you're by yourself or not. They know you're strong. They're, they pretty much see that you are stronger than, than this person, than him. You're stronger. That you had grown the situation. You, you were able to heal yourself from being intentionally broken by this jealous nutcase. This individual also sees you as a chariot and also queen of cups. They would like to come and see you, right? I have page of cups. They want to communicate with you. They would like to speak to you, right? They see you as very beautiful, which is combination of both queen of cups and queen of pentacles, both stable secure powerful highly intuitive intuitive i have high priestess and queen of cups and page of cups very intuitive person very unique this masculine is fascinated by you they may potentially watch you in secret so they know that she they know they never knew again high priestess again they're surprised they're surprised by your intuition by your abilities, by your strengths. You are very powerful. Some of you could be actually a powerful psychics or tarot readers or esoterics or shamans or whatever the case may be. High Priestess is about possessiveness of internal knowledge that is not common um, for everybody. So they, they, they know now, they know now that you were right. But yet on another hand, this person is very afraid of destructions tower so this person understand that if he participated in whatever happened that he will get what he deserves too so there's this level of fear that you're not going to stop okay there's fear 
fear not only for this masculine, but also for this female. And everyone who've done you wrong. So I feel like this community are afraid of you. They, they may never admit that. Okay. But there's no joke here. High Priestess came up twice. Okay. You possess internal knowledge. What else does person think of you? <clears throat> Mask. This person is not telling you this. Not showing. Not showing. They regret you for cheating you. Okay. For cheating you. This person is in pain. Missing you. Thinking of you. You know, you're like a painful memory that this individual wants to remove out of his mind. They understand. They understand what they did. And matter of fact, they understand the destruction that they have done to you too. Because this person also contributes to what you suffered, to what you've been through. But they regret. They regret for not being honest with you, for not telling you the truth about potentially this other female for allowing all this sh shit show to continue on they're missing you they're in pain and they're missing you they're still thinking about you and I also sense this level of fear they watch you grow tremendously I have inner growth which is go hand in hand with healing and happiness they know you're you're not the same person anymore you're not naive. You used to trust this person very much. But now, like I said, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. It's like I'm not messing with no broke. You know what I mean? So they know, they know that you understood your own internal potential. That's another definition of Queen of Pentacles and High Priestess. It's you learned and seen who you truly are. You outgrow all of your insecurities. You know your power, your internal power, right? And in a way, like I said, this person knows karma's coming in. Karma's coming in by tower moment from high priestess. So he knows. He, he knows. Everybody's going to get what they deserve. Maybe at first it was funny, it was jokes, but not anymore. This person afraid of you. See, there's unexpected changes coming in into these karmic lives. And it's not from you because I don't see you doing any harm, right? But um, the fact that whatever happened, happened. You are very resource resourceful. So point is, you're moving, to, you're happy now. That's the most important I have journey. You started new journey in life. New job, occupation for some of you. Message, job, official person, see? There's still going to be clarity. Expect message. Ex uh, expect message from somebody who is an official person from a distance from you, not in the same location. You may get an offer from that person official person so point is you you're quite quite a unique individual you're quite a unique individual and you proved who you are okay so there could be a job offer for you from an official person there could be a message or a document that may be because remember there's still going to be clarification about what this jealous not case have done against you legally okay so it's still coming to light. The affairs, everything. The corruption, the affairs, the gossip, everything's coming to light. The jealousy. So expect some sort of official person coming towards you. From a distance from you. Okay, who is this official person and what message do they have? This is something to do with work. Something that you require. Either offer for employment. Uh, this is, could be a very important documents. What is this official person from a distance? Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups. This is an ending. This is an ending of this fighting bullshit, this competition and truth. This person will bring forth some sort of truth. 
truth that these knot cases um, are pretty much finished because there is an ending. There's still the truth. You're fighting for this truth. I also have three of pentacles. So there's a community could be that um, observing, investigating, watching, gathering evidence. Okay. Some sort of king of pentacles coming up. That's coming in with an offer for you. Six of cups and full card. New beginnings, new offer for you. So like I said, <laughs> this karmics, they know that they're going to get what they deserve. There's no, no way out of it. No way out of it. L law is involved if these idiots lie to the law. Um, so there's no, no going around it. No going around it. Clarified what does this official person from a distance will deliver. What exactly this is going to be about. I have family imprisonment. That this family is going to jail. This is going to be some sort of some sort of masculine that will bring will bring the message about imprisonment, a warrants, or you you will be asked. There's a also mature woman here that's going to go to jail. Some sort of female could be an official person, female. Could be a married couple. I have lower card and wealthy man. Some imprisonment of some people. And they're concerned right now, actually. This corruption is concerned because this Queen of Swords did not operate it herself. I tell you that much. There's definitely here somebody here was involved as well. So they're concerned, and this message will be in regards of consequences and imprisonment of this specific community imprisonment who is this woman who is this mature woman here show me some sort of mature woman who is this mature woman three of cups oh queen of swords okay Queen of Cups, Ten of So they're showing me, like I said, they're cooperated here. Whatever this female have done, the third party that helped, that helped this Queen of Swords we seen earlier. This is once again your strong position by the Emperor, the Sun card, the truth. Toxicity, abuse of power and authority. Some other female here abused her power and authority. There she is, Fireside. So two females here acted together. They, they, they help each other, okay? Between love affairs, between forged documents, gossip, all kinds of shit. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But this, there is a mature woman here who holds some sort of position of authority by the emperor. Whoever she is, I'm not going to go look into it. That actually got an attention of a lot of special investigative forces, okay, that investigated her, investigated this other woman, investigated this fire sign. Everybody's under investigation. So there will be an imprisonment done of this corrupt, mature woman. She's going to be arrested. This Queen of Swords also will be arrested. I don't know what will happen to this masculine. I don't care, honestly. I also have here death. It's an ending, an ending of this person's strong positions. Like I said, it's all tangled up, see? And I got also hangman restrictions. It's, it's the end. The end. So don't worry. As I say, everything is under control. My beautiful, incredible stars. Let's take a look quickly what else messages I have for you. Any other messages? What other messages I have from my wonderful collectives? In regards of personal life or happiness, personal happiness grows. I have four of cups. Okay, it's some sort of offer here. 
some sort of offer here an ace of pentacles incredible offer it's an incredible offer from some sort of new person masculine come up king of cup pentacles incredible offer he's coming slow a bit i see a horse drinking water not not moving it's like my horse is thirsty i need some water so so this person is coming in slowly but surely okay i got a feeling you're okay you're not in no hurry you're perfectly fine you're perfectly happy but know that there is an incredible amazing offer that is going to come in towards you eventually eventually okay <laughs> uh from this person the reason why i'm laughing looking at this card we have a charming prince here on the horse and he's like come on just drink faster <laughs> oh too funny but yeah he's coming in so for those who uh, wish to find this someone other special often king of pentacles is an individuals uh, that are responsible you know husband slash wife material that are you know ready to settle down and you know take responsibility for for being that important person and participate in a, in a family life as a person that is ready to settle down and this is will be an incredible offer for you coming in from this person i also have a world card you know it's a it's an incredible new beginning you you're gonna be together okay together uh, ready to live your life happy i also have a little boy here on top or a child or whatever the case may be this is often a new beginnings and i have will of fortune it's a person that is destined to be with you he is your destiny from a wonderful collectives who are masculine uh, reverse the energy okay this is a female and i also have ace of cups it's a relationship based on true love and divine partnership not just, not just a, you know, um, immature relationship. You've been through that, okay? This person is ready. Uh, like I said, it's a destiny. You're destined to be together. This is Ace of Cups and a Wheel of Fortune that often signifies a relationship that are destined, written in your destiny. Written in your destiny. So we're going to be very happy with this person. Okay, what else about this person you can tell me? I have power. It's a po powerful union. Powerful union and somebody's going to be very jealous. Very jealous. Some bitter female here. So there, Know that there's this other woman here that is obsessed with you and very jealous of you, okay? But like I said, what destined to be yours will be yours. Just know that there's going to be a lot of people jealous of your union. Okay. <laughs> I have here conquest. <laughs> it's like, finally, finally, my horse is no longer thirsty. I'm coming in. <laughs> and you look, okay, right about time. So yeah, so you're going to be happy together. Just know that there's going to be a person here that is a lot of people potentially that will be very jealous um, of your person. So, um, uh, who is this jealous person? I'm just curious. Who is this jealous person? Oh, it's somebody who walked away. <laughs> oh, man. So, this trio, okay? King of Wands and this Queen of Wands. The jealous. So, the, these people from the past are going to be very jealous. Angry, jealous, because they could have not prevent your happiness. And as I always say, whatever meant to be for you will be yours, okay? You make this choice to wait for someone special. Um... And your hopes and your wishes will not disappoint you. And that's what you need to believe in and trust in. Okay? 
All right, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.